Welcome. So today we are going to clean my refrigerator out. So to help with using everything up in your refrigerator, you should clean your refrigerator out or look through your refrigerator, shall I say, maybe not clean it out like once a week, just kind of see what you got in there, what you can use up. Now with that said, um, my refrigerator has probably not been cleaned out in like mm, ah, over a month. So yeah, okay. So we're gonna clean it out today and see what we have in there. There's probably stuff in there that's gone bad. Um, listen, I work a full-time job, my husband works a full-time job and a part-time job, and our children are in school, and then we'll come home from school and work, and cook supper, and then we clean, and then we wash dishes and stuff like that. I really don't want to clean the refrigerator out. I just don't want to do it. I don't. Okay? I really, I would just rather chill and spend time with my family and just hang out. But, does it need to be done? Yes, it does. Is it overdue? Absolutely. It needs some TLC, okay? Don't judge me. Don't judge my refrigerator. I'm not going to judge your refrigerator, okay? This is a judgment-free zone, all right? I'm not going to judge you. Don't judge me. Now, would I like mine to be like tick-tock, organized, all that good stuff? Yes, I would. Is it realistically going to be like that? No, it's not, and I'm okay with that, all right? I'm just here to show you my fridge, show you what's in it. I need to clean it out. We're going to go through, see what I can make with what I have in here, okay? And um, we're gonna get it done, okay? So let, and I'm sorry I'm playing with my hair. Um, can we just appreciate this straight hair right now? I mean, I'm just saying, I wear my hair straight like mm, five times a year. That's about it. And it is straight right now because I washed it and blow dried it and straightened it. And then I cut probably four or five inches off of it. I know it doesn't look like that right now, because it's super long, but when it, when I tell you it was long before I cut it, I mean, it was like, it was like past my booty long. So it was needing a haircut. And, uh, so I did that. So I went straight and I just keep doing this. Anyway, all right, enough of chit chat. Let's go clean the fridge out. How about it? Okay. So here is my fridge and what I got going on right now, there's my drawers down there. It's got my veggies and stuff in it. And I got my condiments over here. So we just kind of need to get in there and kind of get to the back back there and right there and kind of see what we got going on and what's in there. And then this is my freezer side and ooh, I got a milkshake right there. Y'all, that is a mess. That is a mess. That's dog food, if you're wondering what that is. Yes, I freeze it so um, it kills mites so it doesn't mess my doggie's tummy up. Anyway, um, we're gonna get going and see what we can find. Gotta have this, homemade ranch, all the time, gotta have it. Y'all, I don't even wanna show this. I do not even wanna show this. What is this? What is that? It's a frozen, it's a frozen raw, egg. What? What? <laughs> this is when I was on my health kick, okay? I got some hemp hearts, some ch -ch -ch chia seeds, and some unsweetened toasted coconut flakes, okay? Yeah. All right, we got one going. Here are my eggs. Like, what was the one, the one frozen, long, busted egg at the time? I don't know. What's going on. I just don't even know what's going on. Who knows? Oh, there's a yogurt. I bet you it's like way out of date. Way out of date. Whoa, 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 way out of date. This was supper tonight, so I know it's still good. Oh, God, what is this? What is that? I don't even know what that is. 
That's not gonna be good. I don't know that I even wanna open it. Here's another thing of eggs. I have all these eggs because my um, dad has chickens, so I, we have eggs. We are blessed with eggs. Okay, we have gotten it. We are cleaned out. Our drawers are cleaned out. Oh, I gotta get those uh, grapes. Look at all those grape stems in here. This is my fruit drawer. I get all those stems out. And this is what we're looking like over here. Okay, this is my antique refrigerator. And we're gonna go through it and see what we got. So, just looking through right quick, I can see this bag of salad is bad. That was a uh-oh on my part for not using it. And can we just look at the grapes? One, two, three, four. Four bags of grapes. I think these are the newest ones. Okay, normally what I do when I get down low I will pull them off and freeze them. My girls love frozen grapes. Um, I'm not even gonna show you the date on that buttermilk. I'm not gonna do it. Let's just say it's out of date. I got some carrots that are still fresh. Tomatoes not looking so hot. Um, two have onions that are still good. These peach mangoes are like, there's a tiny bit in them, so they can actually go and get rid of that. My pickles I gotta have. Let's see. All these cheeses are still good. I got another bag of baby carrots. This Panera potato soup is out of date. Like, by a few days. I'm just, I don't know. I might, I don't know. Okay, so there's that. We had cheese ravioli tonight, so I'm going to keep that. And we had veggies. So those are still good. I got some lunch meat. Two cartons of eggs. Mayonnaise. Let's check the date on this. Ooh, I don't want to show you the date on that either. Let's say it is like really out of date, okay? Uh, the cheese is good. I got some flour tortillas. Like I said, I had this thing that was there as empty. My oranges, I need to fill those back up and get some at the store. Have some cheese. Um, I don't know what that is and I'm scared to open it because I can't even remember making it. So... Yeah, I got some strawberries. We got some bacon that's still good. Here's some more cheese. I'm gonna go down here with these cheeses. Got a block of cheese here. Oh, we got all kinds of cheese here and here. And I got some string cheese. This kind of goes in my lunch drawer for the girls and I make, make them some like little lunchables and stuff. And then I have my two, I have two pounds of carrots. So actually, I got to get rid of four things. But out of that, I was able to, um, oh yeah, I have a can of biscuits right here that I totally forgot about. So I'm gonna use that definitely soon. It's still good uh, for a meal. So I really need to use up some eggs too because I have 24 eggs. This gives me a good idea of what, um, some a few meals that I can make and to use some of this up. Like I need to use some of this cheese up that just have like a little bit of cheese in the end of the bag. Um, so I decided, I went through all my condiments right here and I decided to leave those there because I use all of them and they're all still good. So we're gonna go in and clean the fridge now. Okay, here it is uh, somewhat cleaned out now and I wiped it down. Is it perfect? No, it's not. Is it good enough? Yes, it is. Okay, here are my strawberries. Uh, I got these little containers when they went on sale on Amazon. They came with um, two little ones and a big one. 
And then here are my grapes. My kids tend to eat them when I take them off the vine and put them in this thing. So that's what I try to do. But as you can see, I had four bags. So I haven't done that in a while. And I like this little tray thing on the bottom because all the water like drips to the bottom of it. So they don't get like mushy and like moldy. Same thing for the strawberries. Okay, here is my after on my fridge. Man, does it look like there's nothing in there. But after I cleaned out a few things, this is what I got left. Um, my, all my condiment side is still looking pretty full. But um, check out this. This is looking a little organized here with my little clear containers, right? Okay. I got some grapes, strawberries, oranges. Um, I could not find a lid for that, so we had to go with tinfoil because I wasn't going to let that go to waste. Got my protein shakes, eggs. Oh my goodness, let me show you what I thought was two cartons of eggs. Y'all, these are Easter eggs. I can't look how cute this is. I can't get it out. Oh my gosh, this was their Easter eggs that they died. Totally forgot about them. I mean, it's, it's not, it's a long time from Easter. Okay. Anyway, that was a nice little surprise. So we are looking good on the refrigerator side. Now we have to move over to the freezer. Okay, here we go. So I forgot to open my drawers for you. Here we have some lunch meat, cheeses, our baby bell cheese here. And then our next drawer I cleaned out. I have my carrots and my veggies in this drawer. And my bottom drawer is actually empty. Okay, so here is what I have when I cleaned my freezer out. So I have um, quite a bit of hamburger meat um, that I have in there. And then I have some sausage, frozen meatballs, and this roast that I forgot that was in there. So I'll probably put that in the crock pot uh, one day this week. And then I have some chicken strips. And then here's all the ends of my potato fries that I have. So I have three bags that are kind of at the bottom. I'll probably just put all those together um, in a bag of hash rounds. I have three frozen bags of strawberries for smoothies and stuff like that. This is almost empty, so I'll probably throw that away. And then the fish part, I have some shrimp. Um, I have fried shrimp. And then um, peeled devein shrimp, Alaskan burgers that have been in the freezer for a very long time. We need to try those. A bag of frozen vegetables. I uh, have some fish sticks over here. This salmon fillets that we got from Costco. And then my bread. I bought two rows of these. You can see in store it was $4.44. But at my local discount store, I only paid a dollar for this. So I bought two of them. We ate one and then I put one in the freezer. Uh, same for the bagels. And then here is my like nuts, almonds, pecans, whatever, bacon stuff, chocolate chips that I leave in a bag in the freezer. Okay, so here is the after I put it back in my freezer. Down here, I have all my potatoes, french fries, stuff like that. Here, I have the three frozen bags of strawberries. This, I made the meat shelf of all hamburger, be hamburger meat and the roast back there. And this is fish. So, it's the salmon and the shrimp, um, fish sticks, salmon burgers. So, that's on that shelf. Right up there is the ices. And I got the bagels up here and the loaf of bread and then my bacon goods down there. So now I know where everything is in here. Thank you guys for watching. And if you just take a little time to go through your fridge and your freezer every once in a while to see what you have on hand, that will help you keep your budget down at the grocery store.